So this is the question of average asked in UPSC CSET paper 2021. Right. So by looking this question looks lengthy, right? Because we have to read this much, right? So this is also a big thing in the exam where we have a pressure of time, right? But if you see the answer of this questions can be given even without using a pen. So let's first read it. There are two classes. So there are two classes. This is class A and this is class B, right? So what is given? Having 25 and 30 students. Here we have 25 students and here we are having 30 students. In a class A, the highest score is 21 and the lowest score is 17. So here the lowest score is 17 and the highest score is 21. In class B, the highest score is 30 and the lowest score is 22. Right. So this information is given. Now, the four students are shifted. Four students are going from class A to class B. Right. So four students we are shifting from class A to class B. So consider the following statement. The average score of class B will definitely decrease. So we know from the formula of average, the average of student in class A, this is average, this is not class A, this is average of class A. The average of class A will be the marks of all student here, right, the score. So it will include the lowest score also and the highest score. The one student is having the highest score is 21 and the lowest score is 17. Right. So it will be the addition of score of all 25 students and here the number of students. Number of students we know is 25. Right. So this will be the average of class A. Similarly, uh, we know that the average of class B will be. Similarly, here the highest score will be 30. And the lowest will be 22 and number of students are 30. So if you see from this information, we can interpret that the average of class B will be greater than average of class A. Do you get it or not? Because here the lowest score is 22. So all the students or most of the students are having marks or a score greater than 22 or 22, right? But here the maximum is only 21. So the average of the class B will be greater than 22 at least, right? Because the minimum marks is 22 there. But here, if, even if we consider that all the student got the highest mark, even that time the average score can't be greater than 21 you have to understand that right and here even if we consider the minimum average marks of a student it can't be less than 22 so the average of class b is greater than average of class a by this information but now what is happening the four students are getting shifted from a to b so if we assume that the a student who got shifted from class A to class B, their marks is, let's assume it's 17 minimum marks, right? Okay, the minimum marks student are shifted from here, from class A to class B, right? If they are shifted from there, but here initially the average score was less, but now some students are coming who are having marks less than 22 because here the average is will be 22 but now we are getting students whose marks are 17 right so the average of class b will decrease why it will decrease because previously it was 22 and now we are getting students who are having marks 17 or nearby 17 so to compensate this difference of five marks right the average will reduce right or may be possible that we are shifting the highest marks student from class a to class b 
If in that case the average will reduce because here the maximum marks is 21, but the average score of class B is 22. So still there is a difference. So still the average will reduce. So we can conclude that the average score of class B will definitely decrease in both cases, right? So this option is right. Now, what's the second conclusion? The average score of class A will definitely increase. Now he's asking what will happen with the class A average, right? So in the class A average, what will happen? It will increase or decrease. If we are shifting the minimum marks student, then the average will increase of class A, right? It will increase, but if we are transferring or shifting highest mark student into class B, then the average of class A will decrease because now we don't have the highest mark student. So the average will reduce, right? So here it is reducing and here it is increasing. So here we cannot conclude definitely what will happen about class A average, but we can definitely conclude about class B average, right? So option A is right. So, the answer will be option A, right? I hope you all understood the answer. This is just a basic concept of average we are applying here. We are not doing any mathematics here, right? But even if you still have some problem, you can comment us or you can connect us through WhatsApp or call and I will explain you this thing personally, right?